Are you tired of the same old ceiling panel reflected layouts? I mean, lined up 2x2 or 2x4 modules, all in neat little rows? Are you open to a different approach? How about staggering your panels? Ashlar, running bond, brick layouts, whatever you call a staggered pattern, could be just the right amount of randomness to make your next ceiling project really stand out. Just look around you. Many interior and exterior finishes today have staggered layouts. Until now, achieving a staggered ceiling panel visual was easier said than done. The problem has been when you stab a cross tee into a main runner without an opposing tee on the other side of the main, you lose that crucial tee to tee lock which keeps your tees from disengaging. Kind of important, huh? Now, there have been attempts to solve this problem absent a tee to tee lock. Many installers have simply cut and butterflied the single cross T tab to lock it into the route hole. There's a problem with this method though. In seismic tests, the cross T's disengage. Additionally, butterflying your cross T ends leaves your whole installation loose, making squaring up your grid to a dry line very difficult, thereby increasing your labor and the overall quality of your installation. Another installation method has been bracketing your tees into place, like with our XTAC clip. This method is labor intensive and best for when you have just a few locations that require off module, one sided tee placement, not the whole ceiling plane. With the XTAC, you should use pop rivets to install these brackets as screws can get in the way of panel installation. Now, I'm not here to propose a cool new ceiling visual with a flawed installation approach. I'd like to introduce to you Armstrong's new STAC clip or single T adapter clip. Here's how it works. Whenever installing your cross tees in staggered layout patterns, or even if you just have a few cross tees that lack an opposing T to T lock at light fixtures, etc., Use the STAC clip. As one installer stabs in cross tees along the length of a main runner, have a second installer follow behind and insert the STAC clips. Next, to lock your tee tightly into place with your pop rivet gun, insert a pop rivet into the bottom hole of the cross tees staked on in detail. The hole in the STAC clip which is positioned on the other side of the T, aligns with the cross T's hole perfectly, thereby letting the pop rivet cleanly pass through. A couple of squeezes and your T is secure while your installation stays square. If you prefer, it is possible to insert the STAC clip into the main runner's route hole before stabbing a cross T into place. Just make sure to stab your cross T to the right of the STAC clip, then pop rivet as shown earlier. Look how tight and square an STAC reinforced installation is. Specify the tested and warranted STAC clip on your next project. 